hello out there. Because of the virus, I have more time to work at the computer. So I start the new Kick the Joe and the Balls project. If you like you can join and also ask questions if something is unclear. So let's start. For our clip we need a cyberpunk environment. We find that at Das 3D Studio. After I have found what I am looking for, I download the scene and open it in Das 3D. I don't know Daz software that well and only use it as a bridge to Cinema 4D. When I am sure that everything is okay, I activate the Daz to Cinema bridge. Now I can open the scene directly in Cinema. In Cinema, we open the bridge to Daz 3D, and import the file. As you can see, everything was imported. With some files, there can be linking problems with the textures, but after a few settings everything should be usable. Now the scene is still empty. We want to change that. There are a lot of people running around in our clip. There should also be motorized traffic and flying objects. First we generate the population. To do this, we export the scene as an OBJ file and load it into Anima. In Anima, we now send people out onto the streets. First we reduce the scene, to have a better overview. This subway portal will be my starting point for the first path. Now we have the possibility to install two escalators. Escalators should always be defined first, so you can easily link the path. We make the first path from the street to the subway. Later we will have several paths lying next to each other, so we will not make them straight paths. For a cyberpunk scene, we also need cyberpunk people. We select the different characters and add them to the generator. This will now generate different characters. This was the first of many paths we will construct. Now we can activate the second path. Because of the escalator, this will lead in the opposite direction. This already looks a bit busier. I now activate the prepared paths one after the other and assign cyberpunk people to them. This way we get a city scene with many people scurrying around. Anima loves flat surfaces. If there are edges in the road, as in my case, there may be errors in the animation of the figures. This can be prevented by adjusting the path. After a few tries, you should have found the right solution. Step by step we are now filling the sidewalks of our city. Some people will say that there are too many figures to work quickly with the computer. For one thing, it depends on your computer. I have a fast rocket at my disposal. On the other hand, we won't need all the figures. In cinema we delete all the figures that are not needed in the individual scenes. 
but if you see how fast anima could handle that large amount of figures without jerking, Cinema 4D should be able to do that too. Now it's time to create an event zone. Anima provides us with a tool that allows us to create large groups of people that all focus on the same event. Here we have a group looking at a monitor. Just set the event field and integrate the people. Finally, set the focus point and everyone is looking in the same direction. Also here we replace the normal people with cyberpunk characters. Let's create a second event point. And because it's fun, an even bigger one. Since there is an interesting TV show to watch, we will do another public viewing. Not everyone is interested in TV shows. Others also have something else to talk about. So let's create a final event point. Look at these many people. If I had to do all this in Cinema 4D, it would take a lot of time and nerves. Thanks to XYZ Design for Anima. Now let's see how this looks in Cinema 4D. Back in Cinema, we open the bridge to Anima and import the scene. In order not to overload the computer, Anima displays most of the figures as triangles. But you can change this in the settings and make all figures visible. So the first part of the project is finished. In the next part, I will work on the dramaturgical camera solution and create the visual storyboard. I hope you enjoyed this excursion and will follow me through the next phase of the project. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, now is the time. See you.